Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost, and here we are continuing with the construction of this very strange composition junk journal. Okay, so first of all, how many of you actually saw my bone folder sitting here? Probably a few. Um, it has been found. It was there the entire time. Couldn't see it for the forest for the trees, but we are good. Okay, so we are post um, making these, we are attempting you're watching me do this live on 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 uh, via recording um what happens when i take a composition notebook and try and make a junk journal out of it okay so what i wanted to do was preserve the the spine and the paper that was already in here so i thought how can i jazz it up quick i dipped it in some coffee dye and then I opened up some pages and drizzled some and then waited for it to dry. Now we're going to check to see how these come. They're pretty much opening okay. A little sticky here and there, but not bad. It can be separated. If there's a tear, we can deal with that. We have our ways. Um, the desk is still, still messy. I will attest to that. But let's just say there's been a lot going on over here. And uh, little, little Miss Crafty Pants here hasn't had the opportunity. Okay, that might be a fib. Um, hasn't taken the time to clean her desk yet, but in the throes of creativity, sometimes she works better in a messy environment. Just saying. Okay. All right. So I'm going through here. There's a slight bit of dampness, nothing to really speak home about. The integrity of everything still, still seems to be sound. It's a little dampy damp up here, but not bad. Still workable. And I think I got the amount of coloring I was looking for. Um... There's some on a lot of the pages, which is great. I don't need to separate every page now, but I'm just kind of going through to make sure that there's nothing stuck. And what would make these pages really stick? Undissolved instant coffee crystals. So this is what I use. I actually get it from Aldi. Um, um, inexpensive coffee crystals. And um, if they don't dissolve completely, sometimes they do cause the paper to stick together. So if you dissolve it really well, and I put some scoops of it into a plastic bag with some water and mixed it up and then dipped the, uh, the, the signature, the giant block, inside with holding the cover back. So I did one of these maneuvers. I held the wings back, cover, and I dipped this into the bag. Yeah. Look at that. I still have it right here. This is what it looks like. That's how I dipped it. And then I sealed it back up and gently placed it over there so it doesn't spill. So now come to uh, acknowledge like this is a little bit of an altered book, I would say, because taking a book that's already constructed and we're altering it. So there you go. Um, now, sometimes people remove pages if they're going to decorate, bulk up these inner pages with embellishments, pockets, tucks, what have you. Um, so that might need to be done, but at this point, I'm not going to remove any pages. We're just going to keep moving forward because maybe it's just going to be a cool journaling book. And you do get warply because of the nature of the drying of the paper. But a lot of that can, not all of it, because we I want to maintain some of that warpliness because I think it lends itself to looking like an old weathered book. So pressure and time will reduce warpling, uh, but then adding of stuff will increase the thickening. And it all depends what you want now. Because they're going El Cheapo and not making these covers as thick as they used to, I, I do feel like I want to thicken them up a little bit. They're a little too flimsy for my liking. And there's a lot of ways you can do this. I mean, I could come in here with pieces of cardstock and thicken this up. I could collage a bunch of stuff. I could, I could glue fabric. I could put uh, cardstock down and then put fabric or collage over that. I'm feeling the desire to collage. And one thing I know that definitely increases the thickness of stuff you're working with is Mod Podge. So I think what I'm going to do, because this is a uh, paper cover, I want to strengthen it, thicken it, and coat it with Mod Podge. That's my vision. So this I think I'm going to cover completely. And I think maybe what I am going to do is put a piece of cardstock down here. for thinking. You could also use chipboard. Hang on, let me see if I have any... Um, anything around here I can use to thicken this. Hold on. Okay, so I found a couple of resources that you might have lying around. Um, like I said, you can use the other things, but I found this is the back of the pad of a notebook. Um, for example, I found another one. Here's a doodle pad, and it has one of these on the back. And these are great to use for covers. So if you have any of those, 
That would be an awesome thing. Now, that's going to be too short that way, so I'm going to have to go a long way, so I can't get two out of one. That's why I had to find two. So I found two. Let's see if I... I know I want to measure. Gosh, gosh, I definitely don't want to do that. But if I... Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice how I left the cap off? Way to go. That's what happens when you don't clean up your desk. Um, so, let's see. I think I'm going to... I am going to get a ruler, which, of which I have. Here it is. I knew it wasn't far because I was working with it. Okay. Now, this is going to be double thicked here, so that's going to give a nice edging to the book, which is good. Okay, now, in there. Don't want to be right up against the spine, but I do want to be close to it. Okay, we'll try that. I might need to shimmy it down a little bit. And I want to make a mark here at the top. I want to be a little shorter than the top of the thing, just so it... All right, let's, well, let's try it even, and if I need to make it shorter, I will. I'm not sure yet. Okay, did I draw? No, nothing. I got nothing. I got stuck on the the ruler's edge. Am I going down there? Okay, I can see the line. It's not a very good line, but it's a line. All right. Let me cut this on my um, guillotine cutter. Hold on. Okay, let's see how I did. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now I want to use that to thicken the cover, bring it up to the fold, but not into the spine where it's going to cause... But bowing. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and hmm, let's go ahead and put this down. This is Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And I would say you want to make sure it adheres well near the spine. I am going to use finger tool. This always makes a mess, but if you go off towards the edges, it's going to take it right to the edges, which is a little trick. Down at the bottom, across the top, this edging, and then the center should be okay. All right, now put that side there. Okay. And the height is a good height. Put it that way. Rolling in. Oh, down, down. Down, 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 down. down, down. Okay, there, better. Okay. All right, so now we have, this is a little bit thicker, feeling better about that. I'm going to build up upon that to make it even thicker with some collaging and Mod Podge. So here, we need to measure this one. So let's put you close. And then there is, let me just slide it down a bit. There's the fold. I don't know if this is going to be straight, but we're going to, we're going to hope it is. Okay, back up here, and then the height, we're going to use this actual book cover. I'm going to go maybe a, just a pretty close to the edge. All right, whoop. All right, I'm going to go cut that out. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now this seems to fit. I'm going to go ahead and glue it. Same procedure around the world, getting close to the edges. I don't know if I did that last time, but... And then just switch backs down the center. Okay. And then finger tool. Smush to the edges. Smush getting to the edges so that the edges are well glued down. Very important. Okay, there we go. And a little bit of the center is good. Very good. Okay. Now put our placement of choice. Checking the top and the bottom, not in the fold, but not in the spine, but very close to it. There we go. And uh, I gotta get the glue off the finger. All right, it's usually not too hard to do if you do it right away. Don't wait too long. Uh, you'll be peeling off layers. Uh, it feels like you're gonna be peeling off layers of skin, but not really, but sometimes it feels that way. Okay. I got it off, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure this folds. Now I have my bone folder, so I can, can do that. Now, I have the choice of turning these into pockets which I might do, that might be fun to do, but first I am going to decorate the insides of these. I need to get my Mod Podge out, hold on. Okay, here is my Mod Podge. I just poured in some fresh glue. Unfortunately, I left the cover off and there's glue at the bottom, so this is what my, I use, I buy the big gallon because I go through it pretty fast, but I think they even sell Mod Podge in small amounts at the Dollar Tree, or they used to, I haven't been in there in a while. 
But uh, okay, so let's find some fun things to lay down here. Hold on. Okay, so I found some fun things and you could use anything, any book pages and you can alternate dark and light, dark and light, weathered or new, weathered, however you like to do it. I think I'm going to take some old newspaper um, clippings, some, uh, I think this is in such cold, no, this is English. It's an old handwritten letter. Uh, this is from a book. These pages are from this old book, The Tourist Conversational Guide for English, French, German, and Italian. Um, this should get you pretty much most places. All right. So we have a couple pages from that. We have some music pages. You can also use dictionary pages or index pages. They always look cool. Let me see what else I can find here. Hold on. Here's some bibliography out of an old book. I found these pages. I found some of my Leonardo da Vinci book. And you can always go in your scrap bu bucket or whatever it is. And just get yourself a little handful of whatnots. Yeah. Okay, so you can tan tear these. You can um, use, you can do precision tearing. Like you can take, do ruler tearing. You can do hand tearing, random pieces. I think I'm just going to do a bunch of hand tearing. That's always fun. And the smaller you, you tear them, the more gluing you're going to be doing. So just FYI. Um, that's tear some of these and sometimes it's good to leave some knot torn because you don't know the exact size of the the area you're gonna be needing to fill yet okay oh and here's the handwritten letter I know everybody's like oh my god come on I know too late I'm tearing it and you could um a handwritten letter I think it's probably oh it's probably not okay to copy I'm never gonna say it's okay to copy it probably not okay to copy it but if you you know you did you could preserve your your handwritten letter um uh, okay, there's some old advertisement on some very tender, uh, crumply newspaper. But when you mount it down to something, it becomes suddenly much stronger. And that's okay. Okay. Okay, here's some more. Which I, this is very old paper. And maybe some of this stuff. I have no idea how much we're going to use here. We'll just tear a bunch of it because, you know, with the paper outpost, we're going to be putting it to good use. Okay. And... Here's a picture of some horse legs from Leonardo. Nothing wrong with a few horse leg pieces. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So I've got lots of things to work with. I'm going to put them here in my little pile of piles. Okay. So maybe. Um, a lot of ways you could do this. I think I'm going to start with glue stick. That's a nice way to just put down a basement layer. I am now using, I know, I know, Scotch Create Glue Stick. And if you can't find this, this is not a bad second. So far, it has not truly failed me, although I'm not 100% convinced yet because I don't have age time with this glue, like to check it back six months, nine months from now to see if it's still sticking. But they're by the same company. And when you order this one, apparently now you get this one. They feel a little different to me upon use. This one's a little softer, but it could be because these are old. So I don't know. Okay, jury's out, jury's out. I use the old one. Might as well use the old glue up first. I think it glued together. Okay, it's gluey. That's good. We're good to now place. Now, you don't have to put glue over the whole thing. You can go in sections. And this is basically just to get it down um, initially. All right, so make sure I don't have double pages here, of which I do. I was on to myself. I knew that was coming. Okay. Go to the edge, and it's go okay to go a little over the edge because you can sand it off. It's a pretty easy way to do that. Maybe I'm just going to do like random, I don't know. Oh, I want that side. Random. The randomness about it all. Okay. I might have to glue down some, some corners of things. Okay. It's nice if you have a straightaway because then you can go along the line of the spine. Okay, so look for a straightaway if you have it. You might not have it, but if you have it, you can do it. Okay. And here's some musica. This one. Baby bunting, that's cute. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can always go in and fill the little spots up. Don't worry about that. And they don't have to all glue right down yet because we can go and fix that. So it actually happens pretty quickly. Mm 
Now remember, this is going to be covered, so it's going to be okay if I don't get this all perfect in here. Just so you know, I don't want you to be sweating or anything. It's okay. All right. Using a straighter edge. A little hanging over because I'm going to come and sand it off later, I think. And uh, so at this point, I really have no idea how it's all going to end up in the end, but it's just kind of a fun process to get in there and randomly glue things down. Uh, try to use something different against everything. Mm -hmm. Give me another letter. I'm going to save that for the back. I know I have more letter. Where's the letter? I can't find the letter. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Settle down. It's all right. Yeah. Okay. Now these little pieces, you could take any like little tiny little weird pieces that you have. You could just stick them there. Cover that up. And you can, you can keep going and, and layering on the thickness. That does create more thickness. And I'm going to do something on the inside and the outside, which is going to increase thickness more. And then Mod Podge it which I need to cover this right now because that's what happened before when I didn't cover it. I am now covering this. Okay. That's, that's good for now. Okay. And um, you can always come and look at I left that uncovered again. Yeah, no, you want to get those. Down. Okay. All right. So that is good. We'll leave that be. Then we'll go to the back and we'll do the same thing. So this is really a craft with me journey on making a junk journal out of a composition book, notebook, if you know. It's uh, like getting back to school time this year, and often these books are very inexpensive to buy, especially have coupons. Look at Staples and Office Depot, they usually have, and Walmart, they have really great deals on these books. They're beautiful books, bound books in different ways, and you can do so many things with them other than traditional taking them to school and writing in them things. Because a lot of us are out of school now, and we want to do other things, right? Right? I know. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to put this upside down. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. All right. That's good. That was a nice flatty flat flat there. Mm hmm Okay. Mm hmm That's from the New Dictionary of Birds edition. Yes, very impactful. That's the ones with the edge on them. They do come in handy for the edge work. Okay. And what else do I need in here? Well, maybe some Leonardo. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to show much because you're going to be hidden by that. So we'll get some more Leonardo up in the forefront. Okay. Here's some whoop, horse hoof. I'll put you in there. All right. That's music. Maybe we're going to put a little of this over here. Only to where we need it. And maybe I'll just fold that. Yeah, that there. Be brave, beloved, is what it says. I like that. Um, maybe a little music along here. That will cover that perfectly. All right, and we need a like, splotch there. What would be good? We got the music of the horse hoof, maybe a white piece. Okay, that's so bad. Okay. Sometimes I like it to get rid of the harsh edges. Um, and insides, so it doesn't look like just a clean edge stuck somewhere, which there's nothing wrong if it is, but if you don't like that look, you can always change it. All right, so here's a little. Okay. Oh, and then we have this little thing, which might come in nicely. You might come in nicely. Although we might just take you. You are here doing nothing. Okay. Then we have you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That little piece there. There. And tiny piece there. There. All right, I think that's pretty good in the coverage world. Um, yeah, just cut 
glue down any obvious floppers just to make life easier. Sometimes the Mod Punch doesn't always get under there. All right, did I cut you? I thought I got you. All right, there we go. Everybody, sit down, relax. I'm gonna glue you down a little bit better. I think I feel, I feel like you need a little bit more. Okay, there. So we have that, and that wasn't too bad. And now we're gonna flip this over, open up these wings, and basically do the same thing to the outside. So I'm going to take, which one was I working with? This one. Take the glue stick, just so you can see it. Scotch Create glue stick, permanent glue stick, hard to find. Probably an older version of their glue, I would think. Um, now this has a nice book binding tape on it, so it's gonna be pretty strong there, and it's sewn really well in these books because, you know, little kids play with these, and we all know what happens in their little hands. Hey, hey. But we want this to hold together in your little hands well, so we're gonna glue it good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna do these little edgy ones. Now this is gonna show through a little bit in the see-through ones, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right. All right I'm gonna go over the edge here because I think I'm gonna sand those out because I'm not gonna sweat about it too much. So you will see very minimal sweating going on here. See all the minimal sweating? Um, and don't worry if some throws through. You can always cover it up with more stuff or leave as is, depending on what you like. Okay. And you can go all cockeyed. You can go super straight, whatever you like. Go off the edge a bit. Because I can always come over. And this does have a nice edge on it. Maybe we'll just put you there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. More music. What's it like, Mr. Music, please? That's ringing a bell for some reason. Where was that? Was that Mr. Dress Up somewhere? Mr. Music, please? Was that the Lawrence Welk show? What was that from? Who remembers? It's like coming back to me now. Who remembers Mr. Music, please? Somebody's gonna remember. I'm not alone in this. Or else I'm losing my mind. Um, more handwritten letter. That's kind of cool. But I'll bring it out to the edge a little bit more. And got that, 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 that. That's got everything. Maybe not. Oh. We might have to. I'm going to improvise a little bit here. Okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, yeah, we need the pictures. That's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do more glue down there. And let me just cover that little spot with the something. Okay, a piece of you. So handwritten letter there. Oh, oh, we still have some here. Oh, I see you. I see you, I see you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to put a little glue on this. Ooh, that's dangerous because it's so fr brittle. That's the word I'm looking for. That is sunshine, having a moment. Bring that up. Oh, oh, okay, there's some over here. There's no way I can get all of it, so what am I gonna do? In here, do that. I did put a straight edge there, but I'll show you how to get out of that. It's not that hard. You're like, oh no, I glued a straight edge. Straight edge there, a little bit there. Let me show you how to get out of it. It's no big deal. So I am going to put glue on this, but I'm going to glue it with the thumb technique on the back of the paper because this paper is a little stronger. can handle that. Oh, my pool service is here. Okay. And where else did I see something? I think, oh, I think I definitely need to glue this down a little bit. Glue that down a little bit. And glue that down a little bit. There we go. I'm just gonna finish this little piece right here. Maybe wish some music. A little piece of music here. Okay. And glue this with the thumb. So I know I get it all. 
All right, there. And I can sand it off. You need a little more glue. You need more glue. Okay, so that's what we got so far there. There we go. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to show you what we did so far. We did that. We did this. Didn't do the inside here. Didn't do the inside here. And then we did one half. So let me get little Mr. Fluffer Pants. Wait, I forgot I was going to show you how to deal with that. Okay, so how you deal with the straight edge when you didn't want a straight edge is you just come in and you cover it with a not straight edge, something like that. And then all of a sudden the straight edge disappears. So that's the trick with that. So I'm glad I remembered that. You know? Oops. This is such a fragile piece of paper. It's half. Don't get glue on your fingers. Okay. There we go. Okay. The little straight edge there will deal with the likes of you with this piece of old music paper. All right, there we go. Okay, all is well. A little straight edge there. I'm just gonna put a little piece of paper. A little piece of paper with some text on it from the Leonardo da Vinci book. There we go. That's not too straight, it's torn, 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 torn. It's just a like I look, a look I like. Oh, help me. And um, you don't have to wor worry about those straight edges. It's just a, 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 I like to cover them up. Okay, let's see. And don't think because Pam does it one way, you have to do it that way. I'm sure you don't think that. You're all uh, grown adults or not, whatever you are. <laughs> you have brains. Do what is fun for you, always. Okay, hold on. Okay, so guess who I caught after 15 minutes of chasing him? <laughs> okay, okay, he's a little wiggly today. Sunshine. Sunshine. Hello, everybody. Sunshine. Uh, Pop Cub Reporter. Very excitable today. Very, very excitable. There's a treat in the vicinity, and I can smell it. I'm all about the treat, and I'm holding on for dear life. All is well, and I would like to report that I wanted to play Come and Get Me. <laughs> and I really, really, really played Come and Get Me. My mom ran all over the house like 10 times. She tried to trap me in the bedroom, and it didn't work. I went straight under the bed, and I wouldn't come out. So she opened the door and came out of the bedroom, but she knew I wanted to follow her out of the bedroom, and I did, and that's when she got me. Yep, yep, here I am delivering my pup date, and that is the pup date of today. Mother, where is the treat? Okay, you know I will deliver. All right. I see the treat. Sunshine out. Love y'all. All right, here you go. Here's your treat. Okay, there you go, folks. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have a free monthly email newsletter if you would like to get a free digital image emailed to you every month. Checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas. Those are all in my freebie section at the bottom of every uh, newsletter. And also you get peeks at new digi kits coming up and updates from me. And sometimes um, if there's a sale or a special, I will put it on the newsletter so you're aware of it. And if you don't have the link down below in the drop, drop down description box, if you can type this painstakingly into your uh, device, you will um, come to a page that has all my hyperlinks on it and you can go to whatever you're interested in, such as my Etsy shop, my Amazon shop, my, my t-shirt shop, or my Create with Reckless Abandon uh, t-shirt cup mug tote water bottle options and also um you can find me on social media at instagram pinterest twitter linkedin tiktok facebook come and join our facebook group we're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly monthly challenges um and remember most of all fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon everybody we will keep on this process and uh, slowly transform this into something that doesn't look anything like a composition notebook take care everyone have fun with your papers Bye bye